We are taters. That's a fia booger, mom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm down in the speakeasy with this handsome stud and overalls. Look at this guy. <laughs> so we're just hanging out. I'm about to leave to go to the doctor for my 37 week appointment. And today is the day that hopefully um, she's going to tell me when I can be induced and have this baby. Now, I will tell you that I almost thought that I wanted to labor last night. It was crazy. We were nervous. We're not ready. Okay. We are not ready at all. So. You know, hopefully she'll come when we tell her to come and not when she wants to, but something tells me she's going to come before we set a date anyway. She's just going to come whenever she wants. And uh, I'm going to try to go for 20, wait, 5 20, 20. Today's Cinco de Mayo, so that gives us two weeks until the baby comes um, if she waits that long. But I'm about to go to the doctor. I'm going to give you all of the updates um, after I visit with her. I just wanted to go in and say, hey, and while I go to the doctor, I'm going to show you all this footage from all this productive stuff we've been doing, all this crafty, good home improvement stuff we've been doing. So check all these clips out from the last week. Big fence job. is helping. It's gonna look pretty good. What exactly are you doing? Marking our fire pit. Oh, okay. Sophia, you helping daddy? Let me see your little face. Hey big girl, did you drop this? Oh, <laughs> That's why she was crying a minute ago. Today we're getting crafty and we're, we may be quarantined, but we can still sit outside on beautiful days like today. And I went over to my mom's house and got these little chairs. I guess she got at a yard sale or something. These little play sets for, um, it was for games, I guess, but she never ended up using them or finishing them or painting them or anything. And I went and got them and I'm going to paint them up and make them look nice and pretty. So we got a little rocking chair there. We got this table, somebody else has painted. We got these little chairs that go with it. And then there's some cushions for the chairs over there. And then I got a few other things and I'm gonna try to clean them up, paint them up, see what we can do here. Look at you in your little chair. Aren't you the cutest baby in the world? Do you love it? <laughs> I think she likes it, Daddy. Uh -huh. Say like thank it? you, Grandbaby, for my awesome new rocking chair. Hey! <laughs> what you doing, big girl? Sitting at this table like an old pro. You like it? That was a good thrift store find from Granberry, wasn't it? Cleaned it right up. Get down. How are you gonna get down? It's not very far. Oh. You know? Here, let me help you. <laughs> See how easy that was? Because that chair is just the right size for you. Which is why I set the policy. <laughs> free, free at last. <laughs> well, friends, today is our lucky day because my brother, he was getting this like play set from one of his neighbors that just needed it gone, I guess, and was gonna give it to Cullen for free. 
Well, it turns out Cullen actually was contacted like the same. Cullen was like, yes, I want it. So he went and started getting it for the kids, for um, Gaines and Brooks. Well, so he's halfway getting this place set over to his house. And he gets a call from this company that wants to just give him a play set for, uh, like, it's like a brand deal for his vlogs. And that's just crazy to me. I was like, what? That's awesome. And now you got two, like, free play sets? What? And um, I was like, you don't need two. Give me one of them. <laughs> so, that's exactly what he's doing. He's, he was like, yeah, you can have the one that I was just breaking down. Um, that he's getting from his neighbor. So now we're going to get that one. And Corey went over there today. It's a beautiful day. We're sitting out here having snacks. But um, Corey went over there and he's helped Cullen like get it down. And now Corey has just got back uh, a little bit ago. And Cullen's here. Corey pulled his truck. Look at this thing. It's like a big mamma jamma. See, we got those, that little thing. Which is, you know, the size, that's the right size for Sophia right now because she's so little. But um, we got the little playpen and that little water thing, splash thing, from Granberry the other day. And then now, Cohen got us the hookup on the big playpen. Big play set. So it has like a slide and swings and a, and a rock climbing wall and all this stuff. So I told Corey not to get it until Cullen... Is here to help. Cullen had to do some other stuff, and now he's coming apparently right now to come help Corey get this thing off the truck and kind of set it up. <sighs> I'm so excited. Our little girls are going to have lots and lots of things to entertain them and lots of things to play with, thanks to Cullen and Katie. I'm so glad that Cullen had babies first. <laughs> this is how it goes, right? He's the older brother. He's got to pass it on down to me. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Look at this guy. Hey, what's up, man? Haven't seen you in forever. You're the man of the hour right now. Huh? You're the man of the hour right now. Bringing us some more goodies for the kiddos. Watch him. Watch him break it, trying to get it out of the truck. It looks mighty heavy. I love this little bar. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm gonna go play on this thing. Five minutes to take it off the truck. Uh, about 30 minutes, just to talk about it. <laughs> We're out there this whole time watching them put that thing together and calling it tell us that your cousins are here. Let's go see Gaines and Brooks and Katie. Let's go give them a social distant wave. Say, I didn't know y'all were out here. I'm sitting there watching these these monkeys. I said, let me go give them some social distance waving. I know. Well, I was hey. thinking they might fall asleep and then they didn't. So oh, okay. Now. I'm glad I didn't wake you up. Look at your fox. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. And a doggy. What? Hi. How's it going? Yeah, I haven't seen you like <laughs> You're so big, aren't you? Well, that was so nice getting to see your cousins, wasn't it? Now we got Daddy hard at work getting this thing put together. And then as soon as they get theirs, I guess they'll bring the slide and the... Uh, or he'll go get the slide and the swing part of this. But look how cool this is. It's got a little bar. It's got the rock climbing wall. It's got two stories. Look how little she looks next to it. She's going to go up on the side. Right, the stairs to go up. Cute little door. And over here is, the, is where the slide, I mean the swing will go. And the slide's on the other side over there. Hi. Cool. Hi. So you'd have one pint of milk, please. Order up. Yes, awesome. Thanks, Colin and Katie. Working hard for the money. So hard for the money. All right, folks. So,
Corey went and got the stain and some black paint for the roof and all that stuff. And he's been out here sanding the play set that Cohen gave us. Bam. Now he's staining it up. I'm excited. It's gonna be so cute. What a sweet gift. We're just lucky like that, I guess. Isn't that right, big girl? You excited about your play set? Yeah, she's really excited. She's been talking about it all morning. He's doing such a good job on this thing. Come along here. Can you believe that? It looks like a brand new playset. All it needed was a coat of stain on it. Wow, it looks great from this side for sure, because it's like done. Good job, Daddy. Yay. Hey, okay, now we're home. We're in our jammies. She's got chocolate on her face. <laughs> I have no idea how that got there. <laughs> um, and I wanted to tell you guys what happened. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the few little crafts and things we've been doing, like um, her little table and her chairs, which I love. And it's actually, you know, a different color now. It's these. Oh, come here, baby. So she loves her little chairs and her little table. And when Lily gets here, you get to see them coloring and playing and having all the fun sitting at their little table. So I'm so glad that we got that and redid it. And then the playhouse outside is gonna be awesome. Thank you, Cohen and Katie, for that awesome oh. win. Cause that was a win. That is like, it looks so good now. Thank you, Corey, for fixing it up, making it look so great. So anyway, um, I went to the doctor and they said that I am one and a half centimeters dilated and that I am 70% a face, whatever that means. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. Now, they did say that I can schedule my induct, like to induce me, and so I told them that I wanted Lily Mae's birthday to be on 5 2020. So, May 20th, 2020. That's gonna be your little sister's birthday unless she comes earlier. So, uh, yes. 5 2020 is the day that we scheduled. They said I'll have to be there at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, like I said, I'm a one and a half centimeters dilated, 70% of face, and that I'm 38 weeks is what I'm measuring, which she said that's just normal. She said that the baby would probably be, you know, high if I make it to the 39 weeks or 30, 40 weeks or whatever, that my baby would probably be set like high sevens, eight pounder, the way that she is right now. She had 136 heartbeat, which is, which that made me nervous because I was like, that's slower than normal. But she said it's because she's probably sleeping. So she was like, you know, when she's sleeping, it's going to be, it's not going to be as fast when she's up moving around, which I get it. So I told her about how I almost went into labor last night, or I thought I was. And she said, yeah, you're just having little contractions like Braxton Hicks. And um, I'm feeling a lot, a lot, lot, lot of pressure. So. I don't know. It makes me nervous. It makes me nervous to like feel so much pressure and to feel like the baby's trying to get out. <laughs> but she said it's going to be okay. Um, come in when we schedule you. I'm going to come in at five o'clock in the morning, hopefully have the baby by that afternoon. She said the way that they're doing it right now, because you know, no one's really going to be allowed in there except for the doctors, nurses, me and Corey. And she said um, that what's going to happen is, you know, if I have the baby, like, let's say on, it's a Wednesday, let's say I have her, uh, they induce me in the morning, I get there at five, they induce me, I have the baby by one. Um, then, by, you know, the evening, the next day, they sh they probably let me go as long as everything's okay. So, it's not like you have to wait two or three days like I did with Sophia. So, um, it's not like Katie said. Katie said that some places were letting you go after a, like 6 to 12 hours after you have the baby. And she was like, no, we're not going to let you go that soon. We want to keep you overnight. But if everything's okay, you know, maybe a day and a half later, if everything's okay, then we'll let you go. I don't have to spend two nights there. Um, so let's hope everything goes good. 
I need to start like packing a bag and getting my ish together because <laughs> like this could actually happen now at this point. Like I could go into labor any day now. So y'all wish me luck and go over and follow me on Instagram and y'all subscribe to this channel. So you'll know I'm going to do it. I think last time I did it on Instagram, this time I'm going to do it on YouTube. So I'm going to tell YouTube first, as soon as I go into labor, I'm going to post a video about it on YouTube before anything else, I think. I think that's how we're going to do it. So, y'all stay tuned. Still don't know if I'm going to do, like, a like the whole thing. I'm going to, you know, show y'all the birth and everything. I don't even know. I have I really haven't thought about it. But I'd like a video of it for myself and for, for us to have. So, maybe I'll share that. We'll see. We'll just see how it goes. might be, like, too intense for... TV. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, y'all wish me luck and um, thanks for watching today's vlog. I love you guys. Y'all comment, like, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have got to get more subscribers. I got to get to 25,000 in like two months and I'm at 18. So hit it. Hit that button. Thanks guys. I love y'all. See you on the next vlog. Till then, be safe. Watch your hands. Peace.